and welcome to Coding with Jesse. I'm Jesse Skinner, and today I'm going to walk through a demo of React.js. So to start off with, I have an HTML page here that I've created with a little form on it with a bunch of radio buttons and a question, how did you hear about us? So it's the kind of thing you've seen probably lots of times on the internet. And so, so far I've just created an HTML page, and I want to convert this to use React instead of HTML. So let's have a look at the HTML first. I'm going to switch to Sublime. And it's pretty simple. I'm using Bootstrap for the styling, but that doesn't really matter. And I just have a form. I have some labels, inputs, uh, some... That's pretty much it, a submit button. And so what I'm going to do is uh, make a component that renders this HTML onto the page. So everything inside the body, I'm going to put that into a React.js component. So first thing I'm going to do is actually make a component. I'm going to make a folder for my components called components. I'm going to make a new file. I'm going to call my component demo. And uh, there's kind of a standard to use capital, capital letters on component names. And uh, I tend to name my file the same thing as my component name. So here I'm calling it demo. And I'm calling it JSX because I'm going to use JSX. Uh, JSX is something special to React. It's a way of putting HTML directly inside your JavaScript. And that's kind of weird, but it's kind of helpful too, as you're going to see in a minute. So I'm going to just save that file. Okay, so I'm going to make my demo component, I'm going to use react.createClass and that just takes an object as, as a single parameter and inside that object I need to define a render method and that's mandatory for React components and what render does is it returns basically the HTML that you want to render so in this case I want it to return and I'm going to paste in all the HTML inside the body. And I'm going to put inside parentheses just so it helps with formatting that I can put it on the next line. I don't have to have it on the same line as the return. So if I switch over, I'm going to copy everything inside the body or cut it. I'm going to paste it into my demo. I'm using uh, Command Shift V as a way to have it auto indent. And that's pretty much it. So now I need to do something to make it actually work with JSX and that is I need to replace all the class attributes with class name attributes and the reason I need to do this is uh, kinda technical but basically it's because JSX gets turned into regular JavaScript and the class attribute isn't allowed in JavaScript uh, because class is a reserved word so we actually have to use class name. So I'm just basically going to do a search and replace. I'm in Sublime, so I'm going to do Command D to select all the classes and replace it with class name. And that's pretty much it. That should uh, work. So that's the basics of a React component. It's uh, use React.create class. You pass in an object. You have a render method, and that render method returns HTML. And next thing I need to do is actually use my demo component on my HTML page. And so first thing I need to do is actually load React onto the page. So I'm going to switch over. I'm here on the official React Facebook uh, downloads page. And I'm just going to scroll down. They have some CDN... Uh, links I can use, so I'm going to link in the development version of React. Let's copy that, switch over, and paste it in. And there's one other thing I need to make this work, and that is the JSX transformer. So it's down here. Uh, as it says, the JSX transformer is used to support XML syntax in JavaScript, and what they mean is that having this on the page allows me to use that HTML in my JavaScript. So I'm going to copy that and paste it over. 
Now it's worth noting that you won't want to use the JSX transformer on your production websites and that's because it's large and slow and there's a better way to do it. So uh, what you'd normally do is have some, uh, process, some build process that converts your JSX files into regular JavaScript files and uh, I'm going to get into that in a, a later episode but for this I'm just going to use the in browser thing and just get this working in a kind of basic way. So I can save that and then the third thing I need is to actually link in my demo component. So my HTML file is in this demo folder so I need to go up a directory back down into components and load the actual demo.jsx and then what I need to do when I'm linking in a JSX file is I need type equals text slash JSX. And I just want to thank a viewer, Jiwa Devalos, that uh, pointed that out on a previous video that I was missing that, and that's why uh, this wasn't working. So make sure you remember type text JSX when you're using the JSX transformer. And that should be mostly it. There's one more thing I need, and that is to actually render my demo uh, component onto the body. So the way I can do that is uh, I'm going to create my demo using react.createElement. I'm going to pass it my demo component and then I'm going to use react.render my demo onto document.body so that should be enough to get this working um, maybe I forgot something but let's try it out and see what happens so I'm going to switch to the browser back to my demo page if I refresh I get a blank page so let's open up the console and see what I forgot Okay, so it's saying parse error, expected corresponding XJS closing tag for input. Okay, so what it's saying is that I missed my input closing tag, and that doesn't really make sense because inputs don't have closing tags. But what it is, is that this is supposed to be XML. So I have my inputs, and they don't have closing tags, but what I need is a slash, basically what they call a self-closing tag. So in all my inputs that don't have closing tags, I need to add a slash. If you're familiar with XHTML, you'll know, you'll recognize this syntax. Uh, maybe you've seen this otherwise, but basically I just need to go through and all my inputs add a slash. And my submit button, and that should be the last one. So I'll save that, go back to my web page, refresh, and now it's saying demo is not defined, so why is that? Um, demo is not defined. Well, it's linking it in. Components demo.jsx. Demo.jsx is there. Hmm. Maybe what I need to do is add type text JSX to my script tag here as well. And that's probably makes sense because otherwise what's going to happen is this block is going to run in the browser before the JSX transformer gets a chance to process my demo component. So let's see if that's true. I'm going to go back, refresh, and that worked. So there you go. I've converted my uh, HTML page into a React page and now I have my HTML template inside a React component and it's rendering and uh, everything looks good. So in the next uh, episode I'm going to split this up into using multiple components and I uh, hope you stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.